Hi, I'm Milk, and these are my legendary looks. You're gonna cream yourself. Today's look is called Prehistoric Princess. For this look, you'll need a highly flammable quilted dress and hair to match. That's it. It's not like we're inventing the wheel or anything. <laughs> Fire! Hi, everybody. Welcome to Milk's Legendary Looks. Today's look is called Prehistoric Princess Pangea Gun. Mama, how is she though? I've never done this look really before, so it's gonna be an experiment and you're gonna be along for the ride, so I hope you love experiments. I'm hoping you're experimenting now with boys and girls because no one likes a gold star gay anymore. We're gonna give ourselves sort of an increased, exaggerated brow bone forehead. So it arches up on the sides and then down right above the nose. So we have that going for us. From this line up, we are going to contour that, make that dark. From that line up, we're gonna make that light so that protrudes forward and then everything else below is going to be contoured. You'll see, it's hard to say in words because I am not a linguist. 7W, our contour color. Lay that into the skin and then below as well. Well, the first inspiration for this look came from, I love unibrows actually. Sometimes unibrows can be really sexy. I know that's weird. I did a look where I had a unibrow and it sort of looked cavewoman-esque and so now I wanted to take it even further. Do the full prehistoric look. A cave goddess Mima. Come on, cave. Let's get Primal! Ow. We are going to go in with our white. 070. Krylon. So what this is gonna do, oh, there's black on here, oh no. It will create that illusion like this area is jutting out and so the light is hitting it. It looks like white eyebrows right now. <laughs> Milk can blend, I swear it. Well, I originally went by Giselle Peacock, which I stole from a Latin ballroom dancer. I wanted something that had a little bit more uniqueness. I was thinking about changing Giselle Peacock to Giselle Bump Bumpkin instead of Giselle Bunchin. It's, people wouldn't have gotten it. I forget what other glue. <laughs> what, you wouldn't have liked a drag queen named Glue? Cause ain't nobody else in this motherfucking world named Glue. That's a RuPaul reference. I like that for the forehead. <sighs> so we're gonna start moving down to the rest of the face. This is my normal contour colors by MAC Harmony. Right under that line to deepen up that shadow. So Milk has been doing CrossFit. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Oh, she's pretty big. The prehistoric's favorite pre-workout food was probably a wildebeest sandwich with a palm tree and kale smoothie. It got her that protein, got her that potassium, so she could go out and fucking chase a gazelle and catch it with her fucking bare hands. Cause that's what she does. I'm adding my normal 2W foundation to the rest of my skin. Color along the jaw like I normally do. Typical highlight on the cheek. And now it's time for prehistoric history lesson with milk. <coughs> Did you know Neanderthals are named after the Neander Valley in Germany? where their bones, stones, and automobiles were first discovered. Did you know that? Did you also know I know nothing else about them? <coughs> Are these people real? Were there cave people? Yeah, right? <coughs> Did you know Neanderthals were believed to have existed 200 to 250 Thousand years ago? <laughs> Did you even? <laughs> Search Neanderthals and homosexuality. See if there were like hieroglyphs of Neanderthals fucking each other or something. 
<laughs> Neanderthals had a larger cranial capacity than us humans. That's probably why they were so smart to create the wheel. But they also had larger bodies, yeah. <laughs> Did you know it was found out recently that Neanderthals intentionally buried their dead? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> I'm going to draw on an eyebrow. It's gonna be drawn on sort of right below the white, where that darkest point is. I was a kid and I had a unibrow. We didn't have tweezers, and so I grew out quite the unibrow. Thanks, mom and dad. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna take some creams and we're gonna start drawing in some hairs so it looks kind of real. And so I'm just gonna take that on a Thin angled brush. What I do to draw on the hairs, pull from the bottom. <laughs> pull from the bottom. So you can see the individual s brush stroke. And then towards the outside, we'll change to black. Because even a prehistoric princess can have an ombre brow. It looks pretty good, right? I fuck me. It looks pretty dark right now. So what we're gonna do is take um, a lighter foundation color, do some brush strokes within the dark spaces to make it look like there's actual skin behind it. We're gonna make this a subtle lip. And if you know me, you know exactly what subtle means. Burgundy. Happy turkey day if it already has happened. Dia Sally for those Neanderthal. For those Neanderthal clubs. So just putting some white on there. A frosty look. So we can now call this a holiday look. Happy holidays! <laughs> uh, this is awesome. I love my life. So I'm gonna take my Ben Nye color palette. A little bit of this blushy color. There we are. She's a blushing beauty of the... I still don't know the era. This prehistoric beauty is on her way to a party, isn't she? You know how I have that lovely gap sometimes? I use Ben Nye Black Tooth Color. Just put your lip up like that. Make sure they're really dry. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a huge gap. <laughs> I wanna do freckles. I saw a trick, I researched a trick online that you can use either brown mascara or uh, eyeliner. So you dot it on a couple fingers. And just stamp it. That's it. I'm gonna go put on the final look and we're gonna bring you some prehistoric princess power. Me, ma. And this, Ooga Booga, is the final look for prehistoric princess. So easy, a cave woman can do it. I'm breaking through those stone ceilings. Oh, her dry, flammable hair with her very flammable dress. Since I'm feeling so hot, I may go up in flames. And then it'll be a whole new look and a whole new image for milk. I put a little bow in the hair just to change it up. I've worn this wig before, so why not be different? Uh, uh. I'm gonna go catch some wildebeest and cook them up for my stupid caveman husband. Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents! Oh. 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 Do you have a YouTube channel and want to be part of the WOW Presents Network? Email us at youtube at worldofwonder.net.